The Doors, Hello, I Love You. Uh, compositionally pretty easy song. Um, some of these riffs, though, can get a uh, little uh, tricky. But the main riff, a uh, really fun uh, riff to play here because it's just kind of a, a quick exercise of some different uh, techniques. And um, just to dive right in, uh, it's going to start off where we're doing kind of like these uh, octave notes here where we're doing an A. Okay, so just open A string and just do a couple hits on that. And your uh, side note, you're going to want to just drown your tone in fuzz, uh, especially for like the verses. Um, but yeah, get some super heavy fuzz going. And uh, like I said, do a couple A notes open. Okay, now we're going to do the octave where we do a, a second fret on the G, a couple of those. Okay. All right, and now we just go to a G, and do the same thing. So third fret on the E, five on the D. Okay. All right, and now we kind of just do this uh, the second measure, which is like a scale, a scale down. Uh, we hit the open A, and then quickly hit a second on the D. Open D. Now we do this uh, hammer on pull off here on the second of the A, where we go a second, three, back to two, to open. All right, and then we just finish the whole thing by hitting a, a three on the E. Okay. okay, so just to try the whole thing slowly now. Just go through that whole thing four times. Alright, and uh, once the verse kicks in, um, as far as what the you know official recorded guitar is doing, it gets a it's a little murky here it's because it's just drowned in fuzz and it's basically just uh this kind of improv uh back and forth of a uh what's called a dorian scale and it's in the key of a of course so an a dorian scale and we're just kind of um picking through it and you know it's not super set in stone because i said it's so drowned in fuzz it's like hard to distinguish a lot of it uh but Essentially, we just kind of want to wor work our way from the low end of it up to the high end of it and then just kind of back down. So something like this would work nice where we do uh, open, A, and then we go two, three, and then just repeat that twice. Okay, now we hit an open D, back to the two, three on the A, couple open Ds. Two to four on the D. And now we kind of play around a little there. We go back to two on the D. Open to two. Four. Now we hit our high point. Okay, so we can do five on the D and then work our way back down. We go five, four, two, zero. Okay. And now we just kind of get back to the low end of it with our two to three on the A, open D, once again, and then just finish it with something like three, two, open. Okay, so like I said, we're just kind of playing around in this Dorian scale, uh, starting low, working high, and like I said, nothing set in stone here, you can just kind of like manipulate these notes uh, how you like here, just because you get that that general feel of it starting low, working high, and then working back. Okay, so just something like. Okay, something like that. And, you know, I'm using, I'm actually using a fairly light fuzz so you can kind of hear it, but in the recording it's just, you know, drowned in fuzz. Uh, and this is, you know, kind of the, the more. Uh, difficult way of playing it. I'll show you a, like a simplified way of just playing this verse. But essentially you would want to just go through this whole scale 
uh, you know, a few times at least. You can just as easily just follow what the keyboard is doing. And the keyboard's just kind of playing some basic chords through it. Um, it's just doing uh, two chords per measure, a couple strums each, where we just hit an A chord, and then a G chord twice, and just repeating that throughout the verse. So if you want to just, you know, take it easy in the verse, not worry about all the that funkiness going on, then you can just uh, go this way and follow the keyboard, where we're just doing... Okay, just back and forth between the A and the G. Okay, and after we get through the, uh, you know, the couple verses and the couple choruses there, um, we get this slide break. Okay, and we'll just start high on the 14 of the G. And uh, we just hit that and slide it down, you know, for a measure's worth. And then for the second measure, we hit the second on the G and then just slide it back up for a measure. All right, and then after that slide, we get a key shift, and everything just gets bumped up a fret, basically, a uh, half step. All right, so uh, once we get into this third verse, uh, we're playing around, and if you want to do the uh, you know official uh, style, uh, it's just playing around in that Dorian scale again, but now we're in B-flat. Okay, so we would just take everything we just did, but just bump it up a fret. So we'd be here at the first fret, playing around with that, the three and the four on the A, and then the one, three, five, and six on the D. So something like. All right, and the easy way of doing that would just be to, of course, follow the uh, keyboard. And for this third verse and the, uh, the outro, the keyboard is doing uh, same style as the other verses, but just up to a B flat now. So one on the A, three, three, three on the DGB. Okay, to an A flat. So just bar chord at the fourth fret here. And just going between those. All right, and that's going all the way throughout the outro. Okay, but once we get to the outro, the guitar kind of shifts what it's doing. It throws in this cool uh, little scale here uh, where we're going to be um, basically doing a couple pickup notes. We go four to five on the E, hit the six to start the measure, then we go five on the A, and then we go right back to going uh, on the E, six, five, four, and then down to one. Okay, it's just kind of this funny little like uh, chromatic kind of scale going back and forth and back down. So it'd be something like. Okay, like I said, just drown it in fuzz. And uh, you could do that about four times. And then even the guitar at the very end essentially just kind of gets to what the keyboard is up to. And just starts doing, you know, a, the two chords per measure, couple strums, where it's doing the B flat to A flat. Okay, so that's even how this, you know, the straight up guitar part does the very end. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.